Hello Zico members, this is Sports Betting Well. I want to introduce myself, let you know about a irresistible offer that we have for you as a Z-Code member. If you haven't heard of me, I've been betting for decades now and at one point uh, had the most action of anybody in the state of Nevada for a period of time, period of years actually, and have been written up about a lot, actually even have my own book out on the autobiography of a sports betting whale. I have won tens of millions of dollars betting on sports and I'm very good at it. I run on extreme hot streaks about every 10 to 15 days you'll see me go on a streak and we have a system where I really run up your bankroll for you and what I want to do is prove that to you. I can tell you that I'm the best or one of the best and but the best way to do is to give you an irresistible offer for you to sign up. You click the link below, instead of paying thousands of dollars a month for our selections, you can have a year's worth of selections for $49. That's a, a benefit to you as a Z Code member. We like, um, we like you guys and been partnering with Jay Being with uh, Z Code for years now. So give us a try, $49 for a year's worth of action. Now, what do, what do we do, what do I do that's different than just system plays? And I'm very good at recognizing patterns as well, but I'm a fundamentalist. I'm looking at what's happening every single day, every single game. What's different than what the pattern is telling me? If there's nothing different, then go with the system. But if there's something going on, if you've got COVID, if you've got injuries, if you've got a, a fatigued team, any number of things, will change the impact of the game that a system can't catch. So using the Z code system and using sports betting well, you get a combination of handicapping that will just improve your overall win rate and the amount you win. So give us a shot here. Irresistible offer, $49 a year for Z code members only. No one else gets this offer. So take advantage of it. See how well we'll do. We're going to give you extra picks that you're not getting through other systems, which means more dollars in your pocket. We'll show it to you. Just give us a shot. That's all we're asking for. And as an example, you'll see on the screen here, one of the runs in, within the last 12 months, $800,000 starting with a small base. You'll see example of play by play. Uh, everything we do, we prove it. What's unique about us too is we bet on our own plays, thousands, tens of thousands a day on the same plays that we're giving out. We put our money where our mouth is. Very few people do that. The reason we do it is because we make money doing it. No reason in the world we would do it unless it's profitable. So just take a look. You'll see on the screen one run alone, $800,000. $80,000 so, so all, far. All yeah. Small straight bet. Yeah, I think not a single game is lost. You're gonna hit eighty uh, eight hundred thousand dollars by the end of today. Well, no, we're at we were at seven seven twenty nine or something like that. So eighty grand would push you up over eight hundred thousand dollars by the end of tonight. Okay. Well, let's get into this TV here. This is running the ball at this point. We agree, right? Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you uh, for everything that has helped us to stay healthy and, and move forward and do actually prosper during some tough times. And we uh, want to help as many people as we can mm -hmm. and look forward to another great year. Amen. Amen. I already cashed the Texans' first half ticket, which you can see. Gonzaga, winner. Western Kentucky, winner. Villanova later, LSU later. Over Nevada, Nebraska, I think that one, I'll check. Gonzaga, winner. Texans minus three, winner. Gonzaga, winner. Over on West Washington Cowboys playing right now. St. Joe's, winner. Toledo, winner. St. Joe's, winner. St. Mary's, winner. <laughs> What, what what are the odds of winning? What is this? One, two, three. Ten, ten to zero. Ten to nothing so far today. Just on these tickets, ten to nothing. Plus the odds. We're looking at something like this. Plus the game this morning. Yeah. Chip, just like.
20 to 0 run. Yeah, I have 7 runs. Want to play? I'm not, I'm not uh, like, scared. Okay. No, actually, the first year that we transferred schools, we had powder puff. It's a what a day. 50,000. It's a collector's piece. Look at this beauty. It's a Rolex diamond collector, collector's piece. It's an honor. You look like a million dollars. <laughs> look at that. Shines like a light sky. 50,000. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Couldn't be on a more fitting person. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, It's beauty. Because once you and I started picking together, we hit everything. And you know how much. <laughs> but no, I don't want to the run no one. She likes the consistent. Yeah, consistent. Yeah. So you win, you win, you lose, you lose. You can have emotion, which uh, affecting one, two, three. Oh. I gave out a round robin today for the players. Easy three winner. Yeah. yeah. This may be your hottest streak yet. We'll see where it ends up. It's not going to end. It's the way we're picking them. The difference now is it's kind of like back in the 90s. And I had millions and millions and millions of dollars. With me, when I'm relaxed and and uh, there's no there's no pressure to win, I always win. And we're seeing the proof of the pudding now, man. Been a long time in the oh, a long time coming. And we, some, you know, we've had, we've had, we've had some no, tremendous streaks. And then really I remember a bunch of times I went nuts. So and so streaks so yeah. were very little. And when I was two one, period, I a two month period, you were really hot almost every day. And you didn't take advantage of that run. Yeah. That, was, that was a multi million dollar run. Right. How we do today? So far, so good. Yeah, well, Washington uh, and the Cowboys just ended. What does that put you up to uh, so far? That's, um, so we started out in the morning with two bets. We had the Texans minus two in the first half and minus three for the game. That ended up coming in easily. Then in college basketball, we had uh, four games in the morning that uh, all hit. And then a couple in the afternoon so far have also hit. Had to take them twice. Um, one of the games I took three times was uh, Gonzaga. So I want to talk a little bit about the, the Gonzaga game. Gonzaga's pretty arguably the best team in college basketball. And they're, they're playing uh, very well. They've got uh, returning starters, returning bench, returning coach. Kansas, on the other hand, is a perennial uh, top team, very, very good. So the uh, odd, odds makers made it Gonzaga minus four. But in reality, Kansas is not as good as they were last year. They're, if you read what the coach said, he, he said this is um, going to be a bit of a challenge to, to be able to get this, this new combination of players together where they're, um, they're in sync and that you know, basically admitted they're, they're not as good as last year. So you have one team that is as strong or stronger than last year and they're ranked number one against a team that has a great name, Kansas, but they don't have the same team this year they did last year. So the spread was uh, should have been more like eight or nine, but they made it four because what's the typical person going to do when they see 
Gonzaga and Kansas, they're going to say, oh, well, that game's going to be close. It ended up being a, a really solid play, and you could see down the stretch that Gonzaga was just too much for, for Kansas. The basketball games, really studying who's in sync this time of the year versus the teams that are not, you get some huge opportunities where the spreads are off by 5, 10, 15 points because the odds makers, again, have to go off of last year's power rankings mainly. It's hard for them to adjust. They're very concerned, and the casinos aren't taking a whole lot of action on the college basketball right now because they know their numbers, a lot of them are way off. So yesterday we started out 9-1. and one. Today we've hit all the college games. I, I can see us having a, a nice streak in college basketball for a little while now until the general public and the odds makers understand the different true power ratings of these teams. Mm -hmm. So it's not luck. The, these are handicapping methods and, and skills that, as you can see, we're on the right side of every game. The one game we lost out of 10 in the early morning afternoon yesterday, we were winning and we just got back to our cover at the end with um, Michigan State, I think it was. So, so far we've been on a, a pretty consistent run for three or four weeks and the uh, we feel very calm and relaxed and no pressure and taking a lot of a lot of straight up games and it's uh, it allows us to get more action down it seems to be going well mm -hmm. I highly recommend everybody follow us right now if you've been following us for the last four weeks you've made a lot of money if, and again it's getting to the point where it's beyond you know a luck factor to be able to hit this many in a row what I find really prophetic was yesterday you mentioned how right now you think it's the best time to bet on basketball or college basketball in history. And then today, um, came out, came out of the gate hot. Now I think you're at, you're sitting at around 20 something to nothing, um, between the different bets you've placed in bet, college basketball and elsewhere. Um, so that prediction couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Yeah, we, we know what, uh, what's going on with the teams. My assistant and I, we, we study each team, we, we, we read what the coaches are saying, we're reading what the reporters that follow the teams are saying, we know what teams the COVID is affecting, whether they've been able to practice or not. There's a, there's a very unique opportunity right now because of the fact that teams haven't had their normal practice periods um, to take advantage of the extremely logical premise that a team that is not returning a lot of players and hasn't had the opportunity to practice yet are not going to do as well as against a team that have returning players and have had the opportunity to practice. Yeah, and it shows. Uh, the results uh, really back up the uh, hypothesis here in the last couple of days. Um, you've, uh, you've proven it more than ever. I think that by the uh, end tonight, you break your next milestone of $800,000 in profits. So congratulations. Um, we were all anticipating that. That could have come any day now, and it came today. And uh, by the end of this weekend, do you think you'll, you'll hit the million mark? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. I don't like to make predictions like that because, I, you know, until we see what the games are and how, how good they are. Uh, if I were able to bet a lot more, it'd be easy. But mm. you know, mm. I'm max I'm max betting at the places I'm at now, and um, you know, I guess I could figure out how to get some more more places in play. Um, but I, even even with the average of five to eight thousand a game, this is a run that's not been a round robin or a parlay run. This has been a grind run, five to eight thousand a game between the online and the uh, casinos, it's been the average bet. So our, our net win is you know, a lot. It's, it's got to be plus 60, plus 70 net wins. 
had you round robined or parlayed some of these uh, wagers? Two things would have happened. One, we would have, we could have potentially won millions, but um, it would have been cut off, um, you know, right away. Well, the sports were kind of cutting much. you off already, right? Because I, I hear that uh, on college basketball, they're only letting you take uh, $2,000 a bet. 2000 a bet on college basketball and 500 on the totals. Yeah. $500 on the totals? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Is that... Uh, is that t common? I mean, I, I don't. I, I remember last year you were placing bets at higher amounts. Well, right now, I think that casinos are aware of the fact that their spreads are can be quite off, and and they have been. So I think they're concerned there, and also, you know, I've been on a terrific run for four four weeks in a row, and you know, they know what I'm capable of. So they're, um, they're being a little bit cautious. Yeah. Well, at this point, it seems to me that uh, winning a million dollars is more of a matter of when and not a matter of if. Would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. I like, I like the chances going from a small amount to 800 is statistically a lot tougher than going from 800,000 to a million. Mm -hmm. And I don't think... I don't think your goal stops at a million. You want to go on a multi-million run, right? Well, what I want to do, too, is just get as many players following us as possible so that they can make money, too. Right now, it's, it, it, this economy can be pretty tough for people. And mm -hmm. if you can make some extra money, and again, it's all relative. You know, to some people, an extra 1000 or $2,000 really is uh, a big deal. Um, to others, it's more than that. But if you, um, if you manage your money right and we're giving you winning plays consistently week after week, then you're going to win. Yeah, a lot of people who have followed along have, um, have really seen uh, the, uh, the proof in the pudding over the last few weeks and uh, really, uh, really heartwarming to see some of the responses that people have given over this run and uh we can't can't wait to see where it ends up but uh, right now it seems like you're on the verge of uh a million dollar streak we're at eight hundred thousand so far and only a couple hundred thousand away you could hit that in um a couple days this weekend how much action are you planning on putting down um for this weekend well again you ask me that all the time I can't, I can't say until my assistant and I go over the games and see how many we like. There are a lot of games. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there are a lot of games in the next three days. So I'm sure we'll find some winners. And then it just comes down to uh, how much do we get on them and, and uh, do they come in as, as expected. But I, I think we got an excellent opportunity to continually win now that college basketball is in play too gives us a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities to find the weak spreads that we can take advantage of and if you go through and look look at all the games that we've been taking how many of them did we win convincingly where it wasn't it wasn't close to the spread that's what you want to look for because if if we were if we're winning a lot of games that are close then there's a luck factor there. But when only 10% of the games that we're taking are close, and the rest are not close, um, that's good. Yeah, certainly the ones that I paid attention to, to uh, so far today, uh, none of them were close. Yeah. So that's a pretty good indicator that uh, there's uh, been a lot of skill involved in picking the right side on uh, these uh, selections. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Uh, we uh, well, I hope a lot more people take advantage of it. Yeah, yeah, I cer certainly uh, uh, a lot of people have, and it feels great to know that not only have you been able to take advantage of this, but also a lot of other people have been able to benefit from it as well. And I hope uh, a lot more people will uh, jump on as well now that uh, you've uh, you've gone from hot to sizzling and uh, getting even uh, better as the days go by.